Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson is for grade 9, Algebra 1 book, chapter 7, lesson 6, Exponential Functions. Page number is 453. Okay. You know that the functions relates an input to an output. Input to and output the basic function of functions <laughs> so the functions relates an input to an output and the exponential functions with the name it's clear that we will have exponents will have powers so in exponential functions guys we always insert our input in the we always insert our inputs in exponential form exponents like this is the generic uh, form of an exponential function and that is y is equals to a times b to the power x now you can see that we are inserting x is input y is output so we are inserting our input in the place of an exponent in the place of power Okay, now there are some rules where a is not equals to zero. If you have a zero here, whatever the value you put as an x and whatever the b, when finally you multiply it with a, the whole thing will always be equals to zero. So a cannot be zero. The second rule, b must be greater than zero and b cannot be equals to one. b is not equals to one. Why b is not equals to one, guys? If b is equals to 1, whatever the value, whatever the power you give to the b, it will always be equals to 1. Whatever the power 1 half, always equals to 1. So you will always keep on getting the same value of a here. So b cannot equals to 1. Now, the forms, the when you plot the exponential functions in graph, you will see always this kind of shapes, guys. These fours, 1. 2, 3, and 4. Either this one, this one, or this one, or this one. Okay. Let's do something. Here they give us four exponential functions. This one, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's uh, uh, find out one of them and draw it. Okay. And we will relate these four functions with the generic equation. Like here, you can see that y is equal to 2 to the power x. Okay. We can see that bx, this is 2x. So, B is 2. Then what is A? A is missing here. So it means A is equals to 1. Similarly, if you see this one, B is 2 and A is equals to negative 1 for this one. Similarly here, for this one, A is equals to 1. And for this one, a is equals to negative 1. Now let's find out the first one, this one here, y is equals to 2x and draw it so you guys more understand the functions clearly. Okay, let me open a blackboard here. The function is y is equals to 2 to the power x. Okay, let's do it, guys. Okay, y is equals to 2 and x. Okay, whenever guys we we are finding the outputs for the functions, always we don't just find for single value. We create a table. x and y. x is the input, y is the output. Okay, we can also say the function of x, f of x. If we have more functions, we use other names like g of x and more other names. Okay. Now, let's say, for example, if we take a range of, uh, let's, we'll draw a graph. So, we'll see also. We're taking simple values. Let's say negative 1 here, negative 2, negative 3. Similarly here, 1, 2, and 3. And this one is 1. 2 and 3 and down here negative 1 negative 2 and negative 3 okay 
if I say that x is equals to let's say negative 2 so it means I have to place negative 2 in this place this one here to the place of x I have to place the negative 2 here okay let's put it y is equals to 2 to the power negative 2 because I took x negative 2 I will take a range of x guys here and this way I'll show you negative 2 then I will take negative 1 then 0 then 1 and then 2 I will take the values until I get a clear shape of my graph okay so we can take for example negative 4 to 4 or negative 2 to 2 normally just some values simple values okay now let's solve this one you know that when we have the negative power we take the reciprocal so that is equals to what boys 2 over oh sorry not 2 over that is equals to 1 over 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 2 that is equals to 1 over 4 which means 0 0.25 so here when x is negative 2 y is 1 over 4 similarly if you put negative 1 to the place of x here you will get y is equals to 1 over 2 if you insert 0 anything that have 0 equals to the power of 0 that is equals to 1 we studied this in the first lesson and for 1 it will be 2 and for 2 it will be 4 what I'm doing guys I'm inserting the values of X here and finding it in this way okay for positive values we straight away take for example if it is 1 so 2 just 2 if it is 2 so 2 to the power 2 that is equals to 4 now let us plot the points if I have negative 2 as x which is here negative 2 so y is 0 0.25 it means little bit here okay similarly if it is negative 1 so y will be half half of 1 here inside this one okay if x is 0 so y is equals to exactly 1 exactly at 1 okay if x is 1 so y will be 2 oh here it is x is 1 this is 1 so y will be here 2 this is y2 so the point will be here and if x is 2 which is here 2 y will be 4 above 3 here. okay if we join the dots now guys you can see that we will see the form of exponential functions and if we keep on inserting the positive and positive values we'll keep on getting a graph longer and longer like this higher and if we keep on inserting the negative and negative values we'll keep on getting the lower the graph will approach to the x line to the y zero keep on approaching approaching and approaching but keep one thing in mind guys that it will never touch the zero the y will never be zero why because if y is equals to 2 to the power x whatever it is okay never it will never approach the zero so for example for this one 2 to the power x if you let's say insert a bigger negative number negative 1000 right so you will get 1 over 2 to the power 1000 you will never get 0 until you get a 0 in the numerator so you are not going to get a 0 in the numerator so the y the function will never it will approach the 0 line but it will never touch it okay I hope you guys understand uh, there will be a part 2 video uh, in which we will complete the lesson because the video is getting longer now so don't forget to watch the part 2 video guys thank you so much have a nice day